It was three weeks ago to the day that Senator Franken was first accused of sexual misconduct. Radio host Leanne Tweeden, the first woman to come forward, she released that photo showing the Democrat with his hands over her chest as she slept on a plane during a USO tour in 2006. Tweeden also says that Franken forcibly kissed her as they practiced for a skit backstage. Kate Raddatz joins us now. Kate, hard to believe that was just three weeks ago, just nine days ago. He told our Esme Murphy he had no plans to resign. That's right. And during that interview, Senator Franken acknowledged it would take a long time to gain back the people's trust and that he was willing to participate in a full ethics investigation. But today during his speech, he said he realized he could not wait for a committee investigation while remaining an effective senator for the people of Minnesota. Since allegations surfaced three weeks ago, eight women have come forward with their stories, but pressure really mounted yesterday after a woman emerged saying he forcibly tried to kiss her in 2006. Hours later, another woman said Franket inappropriately squeezed a handful of flesh on her waist while posing for this photo with her in 2009. Now, it didn't take long for the majority of Senate Democrats to then call a two-term lawmaker to step down. Before Franken announced he would be stepping down today, he did say that while he respected the experiences of women, he said he remembered the incidents differently and that some of the allegations were, quote, not true, and that he would not stop fighting for the rights of women. Let me be clear. I may be resigning my seat, but I am not giving up my voice. I will continue to stand up for the things I believe in as a citizen and as an activist. The Minnesotans deserve a senator who can focus with all her energy on addressing the challenges they face every day. There you heard Franken refer to the senator that will temporarily be appointed in his place as a her. Governor Dayton has not made an announcement, but sources have told WCCO Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith could be a front runner. Now on his timeline as to when he will resign, Franken said he would be stepping down in the coming weeks. And more on that in a minute. Thanks, Kate.